down, it's just got this huge like resume. You know? <laughs> I'm only gonna read a few highlights because she's so amazing, and and I'll just tell you a funny story about when before I met Janet, I knew of her, but not because of her writing, but because I was at a great BC Arts Festival event in Victoria. And everybody kept running up to me and hitting me on the shoulder going, Janet! And I'm like, who the hell, who the hell is Janet? <laughs> everybody keeps hitting me and calling me Janet. Um, yeah. Apparently my hair reminded them of them and they kept running up to me thinking I was Janet. And I was like, I don't know her. I want to meet her. So I finally met her and I was like, yeah, you're awesome. So she is, she's fantastic. She's an enthusiastic writer. She does a lot of not only promoting Aboriginal writers, but promoting other artists in their work. She does a fabulous radio show, which I've never got to hear in Victoria, but I mean, I just know all these fabulous things about this fabulous lady because, you know, she gets her word out there and she gets, uh, she comes over here a lot. She crosses the water. She gets involved in the West Coast Writers Collective and I'm, I'm actually just gonna let her just come right on up here and share how fantastic she is with all of you. And, and please check in with your sound crew. Thank you, honey. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. You know what you're doing, right? Oh. Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? She's stealing my chair. All right. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. I hope you're not thinking she's the poet laureate of Victoria. Her poem better be frickin' good, man. Because I hope it is given that. And I'm super, super honored to be um, reading with um, my girl behind me here. Yeah. That is so amazing. I hope we hear more albums from them. And thank you everyone, all the organizers, for making this, uh, this event come true. This is beautiful. This is about traveling. I love doing road trips, and I have done uh, two road trips down to Santa Fe. Each time the road trip takes three days down and three days back. And I could probably do the trip in a day and a half, but I don't do amphetamines anymore. So, so it takes three days. And, um, and I'm happy that, they, that the West Coast, Aboriginal Writers of West Coast has, um, we've brought in a ringer for you from Santa Fe as well tonight. Alex Jacobs is gonna be reading in a little while here too. So it's called Three Day Road. This is taking us on a road trip, everybody. Dirt doesn't wanna stay down. Welcome winds of change whip through, nothing gets put back in place. Dust storms like rain clouds appear like Halloween goblins peeling earth sounds like lost love left on horizons behind, forgotten. Wide open air, long sad stretches, sky reaches down, tenderly kisses the earth, holding hands for a while, commanding gravity to stay, leaving too early, rearranging landscapes, escaping change. No one travels roads where birds are left hovering, not moving backwards or forwards, just struggling against wind. Sacrificial plastic bags plant themselves like flags and wave their monocolored confessions to anyone who cares to listen. Evidence of man and nature, whatever. Ice water, now the temperature of tea sustains until the next res stop, restop, restart. Life elevated in Utah, God hours honored in Arizona. Tumbleweeds and raw earth looks like open battle wounds. Gorgeous, burnt earth, sagebrush, holy land, hot souls, long roads, asphalt, billboards built on the backs of black Hispanics. Decent warnings foreshadowing rocks falling. Sun-blocked bright rays make way for end of day rave. Don't drink the poison. Don't you dare sigh with boredom. Hot winds die pulling down cloud poetry. Faces, places, displaces, wide open red. Horses, of courses. This land is my favorite song that skips at my favorite heart that floats like boats from another land. Rough ride. Perilous, endless packing experience, conquered with confidence. We are promised ice cream for goodness. Parcels of land expand in price. Buy a ticket, win a farm. The canyons aren't hitting. The bluffs aren't bluffing. The towns aren't turning, don't give it a second thought. And all the creative critter names, Devil's Canyon, Eagle Ridge, Rattlesnake Lake, Foxtail Trail, Horse Pass, 
Billy Goat Harbor, Dead Man's Cliff, Indian Joe Lookout, Buffalo Landing, Prairie Fox Hill, Raven's Ridge, Sleeping Giant Mountain. Dried up underwater world, spitting back time, elevations challenge, motivations question. The blocked hearts are conquered, but autumn comes fast. Forward forth a home for the free, a home for the brave. Did I die? Am I dreaming? I am drunk. I've never seen the world look so beautiful. The political is so ironical. All the talk dismisses this. This is where food comes from. This is where the moon lives too. The light makes love to the land every day. We stay here and play in this home. All of this is home. Suicidal plastic bags, frozen poses of roadkill critters, rivers where women's bodies are littered so many to make the two synonymous Green River. This is a merry, merry America for visitor settlers and those who lay claim, rest in peace. West is best, east is worst, north is nothing, southern is comfort, east is angry, north is naughty. The west rests while the south offers wise rocks. The mountain brushes crumbs from her lapel, sending gravel, rerouting travelers homeward. News reports nothing the rocks don't already know. And the road bends a little. It sends the dust flying. It wants to stay wide open. It wants to marry the clouds and give birth to paths from the same old roads. Here, a 10-mile wingspan doesn't even touch the sides. This is forever. The energy expands, never ending, don't stop for anyone. The great mystery will bring you to who you, who you, who you really are. Life's a bitch, you needn't fear it. The moon has finished its copy and is just hanging around for the next time to shine. It likes to see things in daylight, compliments the sun when things look good. Before waving goodbye, tucking in tired, before returning of this, we can be sure. You needn't fear it. Controlled roads say, go here, don't go there. Follow, no passing, absolutely no passing. I've got my palms, I've got my massage. I've got my corn, I've got my medicine. I've got my pictures, I've got the songs. I've got my blanket, I've got my pillow. I've got my sounds, I've got my eyes. I've got my feet, I've got my voices. I've got my fingers, I've got my time change and the way of it. The people don't speak of land. They speak of the people who speak of industry and big fat numbers, but never bigger than the horizons that hold them, or deeper where the canyons where they will fall. West Side Stories, America, ka, ka, never talks about the land, only commerce and how many times they can come inside her.